Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and today is the first ever episode of a new series I'm starting here on my channel called What Would Drew Do? I am extremely, extremely excited about this. One of my followers over on Instagram, her name is Mendez Cindy, actually suggested that I do a video on giving decoration or layout advice from a photo a viewer sends in of a room in their home. And I was like, that is such a cool idea. And that is exactly what I wanted to do today. So I kind of structured the series around that. So it's called What Would Drew Do? And basically I asked you guys over on Instagram and on my YouTube community tab to send in your design dilemmas. And I am basically going to be giving you my advice, my tips, my tricks, any DIY tips I might have, just really any form of tip to make your space feel a little bit more like how you want it to look. And at the end of this video, I'll actually let you guys know how you could send in your apartment for the next episode of What Would Drew Do? But I honestly think we should just jump right into this video. So let's get started. All right, so the first lady that sent in her design dilemma, her name is Shay. And she said, hey Drew, my name is Shay. I currently live in Idaho and I'm going to esthetician school right now. I have a cute two bedroom apartment and need your help decorating my guest room. Basically then she talks about like just her guest room. She thinks it's like a little bit plain right now and she just wants to see how she could spice it up and she actually also sent in this video. Okay, hey Drew, I have a guest room. I just don't know what to do with. So it's very plain. Um, it has really awesome natural light but I don't know what to do with any of these walls. I got this vanity forever ago so I would like to keep it. I like the guest bed because I do have friends and family that come to visit, but it's just really plain. I'm not quite sure what to do, like if I could do something with the bedding, with the walls. The closet never came with doors. I just have a curtain. It's not the biggest space, but I would love for it to be a lot more cute, so help me if you can. And can we talk about her freaking skin? Her skin looks incredible at the beginning of that video, but her room is actually really kind of cute to start off with, but I can definitely see how she thinks it is a little bit plain because honestly, she has it very minimal um, and clean and tidy, so there's not much in there, but I definitely have a couple of design tips that I think could help her out. And, and if you guys see me referencing my photos, because I actually did write some notes down prior just to kind of collect my thoughts. So the first thing that I thought could actually help this space out a lot is she talked about the walls and how she was open to kind of changing them up. I do feel like the paint color could lean a little bit more towards a warmer white because at the moment it seems to be more of a cool toned light gray so i feel like just if you were to change the color just do a little bit of a warmer toned white um i'll give a couple of options on the side right here that i think are great for any bedroom space i honestly feel like that would make the biggest impact right there is just to change the wall color slightly when i moved into my current apartment my walls were all a super super light gray color and i actually had everything painted a warmer white tone which just changed everything and i absolutely love it she also talked about in the video how she wanted to kind of maximize the storage space in there so I definitely think that maybe getting a platform bed would be a alternate option to what she currently has and I found this really affordable Amazon one that's just literally a chic little metal platform bed I will link it for you guys below and also everything that I do feature in this video any product that you see on the screen is going to be linked below so check the description box if you are curious but I feel like with this platform bed she can actually elevate the bed a little bit more and then also use the underside of the bed as such a great storage facility for some storage boxes or under the bed storage bins so those are great options for under the bed okay so then we're going to talk about the curtain dilemma that she was talking about so i actually have like two ideas for curtains where her bed is placed right now underneath the window i do think that she should add a curtain rod up there and then use some form of like sheer curtain that doesn't really block light act more as just like a pretty element which is actually what i have in my current room i have just a curtain rod above my bed and then just like some sheer drapes in front of it and it just adds like a very pretty kind of like layered effect to the window and it doesn't just leave the window plain which i like like that look and then she has her closet dilemma and for this closet I definitely think the idea of a curtain is where it should be but I do think that the curtain needs to be longer I feel like the curtain needs to go all the way to the ceiling and I bet you a 108 inch curtain which is a generic curtain length would work perfectly for this and I also do think it needs to be a little bit more of a opaque fabric or a thicker fabric because currently it's like more of a sheer fabric which you're able to see the clothing through and it kind of doesn't even hide the clothing slash clutter behind it if that makes sense it just kind of masks it a little bit so I think a more opaque curtain that goes all the way to the ceiling such as like a light colored linen or like a creamy toned linen would look really really pretty there and it would also just add a layer of like fabric and interest over to that wall and I actually love all of her decor options 
illustrations in the space. I think everything she has in there is really great. I love all the plants, um, that little piece of artwork in the back. I also love that little vanity thing that she had as well. It looks super cute and vintage. I think that that should definitely stay. But I do think that maybe adding like a grouping of three wall art pictures on that main wall to the right side of the bed when you walk in would look really, really cute. So just adding like three symmetrical photos. And then last but not least to finish off the space, I think she just needs a couple more graphic throw pillows. Something to add maybe a pop of color or just to add a little bit more interest to the bed and then also maybe a nice knitted throw blanket at the end or something with a little bit more pattern and i feel like target is just a great place for something like that so i'll link a couple options for her below that i feel like would match her style <laughs> Okay guys, so that was our first one for Shay, but now we're gonna jump into number two, which is for Justine. And Justine sent over an email and she said, hi, my name is Justine. I'm a 20 year old and I'm studying medicine. I live in Quebec City, Canada. Um, she just painted the walls green in her space and she just doesn't really know what to do. She also has a couch that she made. She says that her dad is a carpenter, which the couch is super cool by the way. So I'm gonna give her my design ideas, tips and tricks because I thought her space was really, really cool and a great base. So Justine actually sent in a video as well, which I'm gonna end insert to the side here so you guys can kind of watch it as I'm talking um, because hers didn't have audio to it. But basically it looks like she painted two of the three or four walls green. Um, and I do think she should actually go in and paint all four walls green because I personally, if I was to do a space like this, I would either do one of the walls green or do all of them green because it looks like the other color in there is a very like yellowish cream. And I feel like it kind of clashes a bit with that green color. So if I was just seen, I would go in and paint all four walls in that living room area green and I also think that stunning archway is just such a nice little like element of interest as well also those little built-in bookshelf thingies are so cute so I think this space really is great for that green color but I honestly if she's gonna go back and paint those two walls I personally, if this was my space, would paint all four walls a little bit darker than the current color. I feel like the current color is just a little bit bright. Now, if Justine likes this, I definitely think she should go for it for sure. The color is super, super bold though, so I think having a little bit more of a gray toned green will just make it a lot easier to accessorize and decorate the space so that the walls aren't super like pungent and then everything else is kind of like very soft, you know? So I think if she was to go back to even paint those two walls, maybe just getting a color that's a little tiny bit more gray tone would just make the space a little bit more easier to design and a little bit more cohesive because she also has super pretty hardwood floors as well. I can already see that she actually has some plants in the space. So I definitely think like maximizing this room and putting a ton of plants in it would be really, really cool. I feel like this green color or like a more gray tone green really calls for plants and black metal, like black accessories and dark woods. So something else that I thought would be cool is if she added like some sort of like black shelving unit somewhere or maybe some black shelves on the wall, maybe going in and staining the base of the couch that she created with her dad. I think the couch is super cool. I love how it looks and I think it fits that space perfectly, but the wood is really light. And I feel like with that green wall, I think it needs to just need something a little bit darker and warmer. And I do think as well, I freaking hate telling people like what I would do because I feel like they're gonna be like I don't want to do that but I do think that if it was possible to get new slip covers made for the couch because currently they're almost like a purplish cool toned grayish blue which I think doesn't make this couch stand out as much as it should uh, I definitely think if it was like a creamy color like a creamy white or a creamy tan something a little bit more on the neutral side it would just pop with that green wall so much more and you can also do a lot more when it comes to the decor and the last idea I kind of had for this room was to of course mount the TV on the wall like she mentioned I do think she should do that but then pull out that little table and maybe get rid of that or put it somewhere else in the apartment because I feel like just a little smaller media console underneath such as this Ikea one. And then of course she did talk about mounting the TV on the wall. And I think that that is a great idea. I feel like the TV should definitely go on the wall, but I hope that kind of helped out for now. Those are just a couple of my tips and tricks. And of course you don't have to do all of them, Justine, if you don't want to, um, maybe just implementing one or two of them could definitely make a little bit of an impactful change.
So the next Lone Fox family member is Daniela, and she sent in her living room space. And she says, hello, my name is Daniela. Me and my boyfriend just moved into our two bedroom home in San Diego. What we want is definitely neutral colors, lots and lots of plants, since we get a lot of sun, which is amazing, and a bohemian yet beachy vibe. And she inserted a picture of her and her boyfriend, which is really cute. Um, but she sent me her living room, which is also super, super cute. Now, a lot of you guys literally sent me photos of your guys' apartments or rooms or things, and they were fully designed stunningly. And I'm like, how could I even change just like I'm very confused and hers was honestly on that as well but when I saw her living room I instantly sparked up seeing that fireplace like that is such a nice focal point and you would typically think that the fireplace is like the statement and I look and I see the fireplace it is so statementy but it could be even more statementy and I think it's just because the tile that they use on the bottom part of the fireplace is just not super interesting it's kind of like not contrasty and it's very desaturated it's also kind of a random colorway so I think Daniela can benefit from that peel and stick floor tile. If she was to peel and stick floor tile this fireplace with something like this pattern here, that would be so cute. Could you guys imagine that with the white brick above that? And it, the brick even has like little shelves in it. So my number one suggestion for this space is honestly to do a quick, probably $25, $30 flip and peel and stick tile that fireplace because that would look so cute. They have a lot of different options as well if you don't like the one that I suggested, of course. Also, put some plants on those shelves. I think a couple of hanging plants on those shelves, maybe even some books. Just a couple of very like hipstery bohemian elements to that fireplace just really will draw your eye up because currently you see those shelves, but there's not much on them. And then she has her couch. Now, I actually really like the large couch. I think it's a great couch. Nothing needs to change with that, but I do feel like the armchair that she has, it kind of matches the couch. I feel like that should be swapped out for something a little bit more on a slimmer profile side because I feel like the armchair is super super chunky. I actually like how chunky and oversized the couch is but the armchair itself just seems kind of bulky for that area um, and the media console next to it is also kind of more of a bulky piece of furniture but I actually like that piece. I feel like that's kind of the only furniture change I would do in the space is just to swap out the armchair and I also really like her coffee table as well. It has that very boho vibe as well. One other tiny tweak I would probably make to this living room is just to swap out the rug for something a little bit more contrasty from the carpet because I feel like at the moment the carpet and the rug almost blend together at some points so I think if something was a little bit more contrasted maybe a really really dark gray slash black or on the opposite side something a lot lighter like a whiter creamier colored rug would really kind of enhance that and make that coffee table just pop a little bit more and the last tiny tweak I would probably make to this space is honestly just to move that little circle mirror above the fireplace and I would probably move it above that media console that's in front of the couch. I feel like that's all I would do here. Um, I love the glass doors in the back with like a little painting on them. I think that is so cute. This space is already really, really cute, but I think uh, just with a couple of those enhancements, it's really, really going to change it, especially that peel and stick tile for sure. But yeah, I really like that idea. And I think that that is all for Daniela's space. And this next one is actually the last one in today's video. And her name is Dana. She said, hi, Drew. I couldn't believe when I saw your most recent post about helping with the layout space and design challenges. We went under contract with a new home yesterday. And by the way, congratulations, Dana, on your new home. And I've been wrecking my brain about the living area. And she says, attached are the photos. I basically have two rooms which could either either of those rooms could serve as the living room but they definitely want a couch and a tv and the question is which one which furniture configuration would make the most sense and when dana sent this over i was honestly looking at all the pictures and i was like where is there even a wall where the couch could be that the tv would be wherever i'd want to put the couch there is not a wall across from it where the tv could go wherever i wanted to put the couch there was a window in front of it or there was an opening to a doorway so dana i would personally probably do the room with the fireplace in it as the tv room and since this is a purchased home and I even emailed her and was like, did you guys buy this home? I do think that she should probably knock out the shelf above the fireplace and get rid of that. And hopefully there's brick underneath it. I'm not sure if there is, but I think the TV should definitely be mounted above the fireplace. I also feel like that's just like such a focal area for a TV to be. So I would put the TV above the fireplace and remove that shelf. It's honestly really the only area that you can have the TV viewable from the couch. And then what I would do 
for the couch is put a long one right in front of the TV. So put a long couch there and then probably put two accent chairs on either side of the couch or put one accent chair just depending on how much space there is because of course I don't really know the floor plan in here. And the last tweak I would also make to this area is to just change the color above the wainscoting. I really, really like the wainscoting in this room and I like all of the white trim and the white ceiling with the beams. I think it's so, so pretty, but I would probably change that light bluish gray tone to something a bit warmer. So maybe like a warm white, or you can even do something super bold and do like a darker kind of muted color, like a dark, dark green that I've been using recently, or like a dark, like cornflowery blue color, just something that's a bit more gray toned and darker or something even subtle, like a mint, a minty green, like a more gray toned minty green would be really pretty. But if you didn't want to be super risky with color, I do think adding like a really, really light creamy kind of tannish warm white would look really pretty above the stark white underneath. And that's really the only place the TV can go. So I do think that the TV would have to be mounted above the fireplace. And guys, I feel like I have been talking so fast for so long. I hope I didn't talk super fast in this video. I am such a quick talker as you guys know. So I hope that I wasn't talking super quickly and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I think this editing is going to take me 86 hours because a lot of the editing in this video, of course, is kind of like overlays, drawing graphics, animations, things like that throughout. So I'm going to go get to editing. But thank you guys so much for watching today's first episode of What Would Drew Do? Definitely give this a thumbs up if you would like to. And if you want to actually submit your space, your room or whatever, and see all the details and find the email address to send it to, please follow the link in the description box below. I'll have a link there that goes to my website where you're able to find all the information on how to submit your space for what would Drew do. And anyways, thank you guys so, so much. If you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new videos on home decor and DIY every single week. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Lone Fox Home for more behind the scenes type of stuff, which always happens over there. So follow me over there. And I think that's all. I will catch you guys all in my next video. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.